and thanks for stopping by my channel, Krista Michelle. And today I'm here to review for you guys this wig that I have on my head, sent to me from sisterwigs.com. So I will leave all the information about this wig, where you can purchase it, and the price down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that area out. But let's get into this wig. This is an OJ lace front wig, um, and its name is Malaysian. What I really, really love about this wig, out of all the wigs I've tried out from sisterwigs.com during this spring season, is that it has a very unique texture. It does not feel like synthetic hair, and most of the get has like that really, really shiny, plasticky kind of kind of feel, and kind of kind of feel, <laughs> kind of feel. And this has a very, very soft. I can run my hands through it. Um, the luster, it's not too shiny. Very soft and bouncy. It feels like, you know, um, Remy hair almost like store bought, store bought. Remy hair. It's very, very soft. Um, soft. <laughs> you saw I'm from New York. It's very, very um, soft. I can run my hands through it. No tangling. And this is also a long wig. And if you guys are into synthetic wigs and things like that, you guys know that synthetic wigs tend to tangle, especially the longer it is. And when I'm saying this wig is like, um, let's see here, past my chest. So probably like, 18 to 20 inches long and I can just run my hands through it you know especially right out the box I'm not really getting like any shedding I got like one strand and it's just so soft and this is batik bundle hair or it's inspired from batik bundle hair I'm not exactly sure what batik bundle hair is but I'm just assuming it's probably a different kind of synthetic fiber that they used on this wig now into the specs of this wig the color that I have on my head is a DRV 30 slash 1 and it has two combs by the ear tab and a comb in the back of the head as well as adjustable straps which is great. Also, since it is a lace front wig, there is lace pretty much in front of the perimeter. So this whole area right here is a little bit of lace. And then there's a deep part all the way to the center right here. So I definitely like that, that it's not just like a crappy little part that stops right here. It goes all the way back and there's parting um, like lace all on the side. So it has a very, very natural look. The cons about this wig, is that one I wish it was a little fuller but I always feel that way with synthetic wigs but however I do think it's full for a synthetic wig it's really bouncy I like the directions of the curls I like the gradual fade on top I really do think that's very beautiful I have no makeup on today so I think this color really warms up my skin which is great the only con I have is that even though I wanted a 1B on the bottom if I have it to the side it looks very very pretty and blends nice however when I have the hair in the back like this to me it's very like here's the 30 and then there's the 1B and that's the only thing I don't like as far as blending so that's why I'll probably pull the hair to the side like this to the front so it blends a lot better versus just having it chilling um, laying in the back but besides from that, I'm really digging this wig. You can use heat on it. Let me see. It is high text heat resistant fiber, so up to 400 degrees. And like I said before, this is an ultra lace front wig. I do know they have other styles, and I definitely want to check out more of their lace front wigs because I am really in love with this beautiful natural texture. And I definitely think I'll probably want to get this wig or another wig um, from this company in this um, in a different style or cut but definitely in like a solid color or just with an outgrown root. But besides from that, like you guys see me running my hands through it and running my comb through it. I've never been able to really do this um, with a very um, beauty supply store brand synthetic wig. So it's just very, very beautiful and soft. So if you're looking to save some money instead of buying packaged hair or virgin hair, I think this is a wonderful dupe. It really does like human hair. Yeah, it does not look like it's synthetic hair. This looks like it feels like um, Remy hair. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, happy, healthy hair journey. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Image or processed hair. You know what really annoys me? When the shampoo is this big and we are naturals, so you run out of that, just give this one a try. I think it may be a dollar difference, but definitely 